So Vedic culture is transmitted from generation to generation by these Brahmins who either memorize the stories or are the first to write it down, which means they become very important in doing things like legitimizing rulers and unifying political rivalries. They believe in Indra, the chief god, and a whole variety of other gods. They use a common language, Sanskrit, and they share those things, their common gods, their ancestry stories, their language, their culture. They share those symbols, um, which kind of gives people, even in these very different kingdoms, a sense of a common identity and also a common destiny that unites them. So huge Vedic culture, no one single ruler, but a common civilization that has very similar ideas. One of the responsibilities of the Brahmin who are in charge is to memorize every civil, syllable and tone of Vedic works in Sanskrit. That includes commentaries on works from nomadic times, plus a whole variety of new rules and rituals that get incorporated and explain the settled farming way of life. These Vedas create an idea of who these people are. They promote cultural unity. They promote a sense of pride through common rituals and practices that everyone in these civilizations shares. And they also include support for hereditary kingdoms that come to be known as Raja kingdoms. The main body of the literature that's related to this um, are called the Vedas. Don't worry about any of the specific ones except for the Rig Veda. Um, it is the earliest. It is a collection of hymns that praise the gods, including Indra, the goddess of war, god of war, Agni, the god of fire, Varuna, the god of water. Um, and Indra is the most important because he puts the universe in order. And it is to him that uh, is ascribed the power of making life possible. The other ones that I don't want you to worry about so much, the Sama Veda is a textbook for songs uh, of songs for priests to perform when making sacrifices. Um, most of this is also in the Rig Veda. The Yajur Veda, which is a prayer book that contains rituals for things like chariot races and horse sacrifices and king's coronation. So these folks settle down, but horses, a way of pastoral life, still become very important for them or remain important for them. Um, also, the Har Artha Veda, uh, Arthava, excuse me, Veda, which are kind of like charms and remedies that address a lot of problems related to agriculture. Architecturally, we don't know a lot of these folks through, um, through digging because they don't really leave impressive buildings or artifacts, but they do leave us a wealth of thinking about the universe, about human society, uh, so they really lay the religious foundations for folks who come after them. By the middle of the first millennium, um, some of these Brahmins, especially the ascetic ones, those living in the forest, come to believe that what they've been doing for generations isn't working anymore, that Vedic rituals do not provide reasonable answers to the questions of a rapidly changing society. So more on that on the next slide.